Hello, what about you? I'm Andy and welcome back to my channel where I like to make cool robots from junk you'd normally throw away. So if that sounds like something you fancy, uh, stick around. So in my previous build video I made a load of parts from lids and never really used them, only built one bat in the last episode. So for this episode I thought why not use up those parts and build a couple of bats and obviously show off some of your builds as well. <laughs> so to start, here's a build from uh, Puppy Burrito. Puppy Burrito 2.0 or Brianna. Uh, Brianna is a YouTuber and an artist and she came up with this wee guy. Although he's not very big, I think he's just perfect. Just the right amount of detail on him. Uh, so nice job. I think this is actually her first attempt at a scratch build. So nicely done Brianna. Uh, check her out on Instagram there and her YouTube. I'll uh, leave all the links below there. Alrighty, so I've got all my parts here, just roughly put together from my last build video, and then my sketches. Just a rough idea of what it should look like, or well, fingers crossed. And this is just a couple of lids joined together with a square bead, and then a smaller one on top there with a wee bead glued to the top of it. And uh, that wee post is just a lid off a felt tip pen. I'm trying to keep the, the lid theme going. So yeah, they'll, they'll go together, something like that. And uh, that'll be like the wheels in the body. And then for the head, I'm just going to use this uh, spray bottle nozzle. It's, uh, it's got on and off, sort of embossed on the side of it. And I kind of like it, so I'm, I'm going to leave that on. Uh, so I'll stick those to one side. And then I've got the arms. Again, they're uh, felt tip pen lids. Just cut up into wee sections and joined together with a bead. And then I tried a bead hand. I haven't tried actually a bead hand before. So just a large round bead. Uh, drilled some holes and glued some wire in. And then put some beads on for fingers. These are just some more wee beads I uh, got in the pound shop. So yeah, I've started using those. They're quite cool even for, for larger rivets. So yep. Yeah. And then the next one here, the, the big tank boy -o. I've just connected some lids there for a, a gun barrel. And I think that works pretty well. I think it's, it's a wee bit oversized, but I like the, I like the way it looks. And uh, his hands, again, it lids off smaller bottles. And I've, I've drilled some small holes just in the rim of the lid there. And glued some wire in. You can see here, I've left the beads off this one just to show you. Uh, yep, just some gardening wire. I just glued it in. And then for his arms, I'm going to use some beads for his arms. Again, I've never really used beads for the arms before. And this is like an instant coffee capsule. And it turns out in the bottom we've got this like crazy shaped greebly. Really cool, like double sided. So I'll, I'll definitely find a use for those. And I just peel back the foil and it's just underneath this foil here. Just sort of pop it out. But yeah, that was a pretty cool discovery. I'll find a use for that on the wheels, I would think. And then for his arms, yeah, the, the beads. I've just took some of these bigger beads and kind of countersunk them with my drill bit and making a bit like a ball and socket joint and it means I can wire it all together and I'll still have some movement in the arms. Now going back to the other set of arms I still have to glue the hands on but I don't want to do that just yet because I want us to just see how the arms are positioned on the body so I'll need to get another wee bead glued in here just to act like a shoulder joint. On the body, I've drilled some holes that these are going to fit into, and that means it'll make it much easier to position the arms before I glue them, and uh, just make them easier to pose in general. And of course, don't forget, plenty of baking powder to reinforce those joints. That's those sorted, ready for some hands, and I'll just show you how this other guy's hand went together. And um, So, like I was saying, this is just a wee lid off a, you know, one of those wee vape juice bottles? Uh, just one of those lids. Uh, drilled some holes in the side of it, glued my wire in and left the wire nice and long because I wasn't sure if I was going to use multiple beads or just a couple of beads. And yep, yeah, then just slide the beads on, position the, the fingers whatever way I want and just cut off the excess wire. And then I'll go back in just with some more glue and some more of the tasty baking powder <laughs> just to reinforce it all. But yeah, these beads are quite shiny, I should have really roughed them up a bit and I didn't. And that's both hands done. And I can start threading these arms together. I'll just take my garden wire and thread it through my, my wee lid. And I'll just fold it over there for now. Eventually I'll glue the, all this wire into the lid. And then just thread on my beads. Round bead and then my sort of socket bead. 
and then another round bead and I can just pose it whatever way I want it before it's glued and it'll be near time for another build uh, this one's from Emerson Ward he's a model maker and a scratch builder uh, check out his Instagram some really awesome stuff uh, so this is what he came up with for the lid bat challenge and he's really nailed it and some of those mechanical crab parts are just brilliant I love that mixture of our organic and mechanical builds are just cool and he actually does another one called Ducky Stein you gotta go and check it out it's really really cool and Emerson recently actually put out a Mad Max build challenge so I'm looking forward to doing that and can you imagine what he's gonna come up with so check him out there link in the description alrighty got a wee bit more assembled here and um, this guy's pretty much good to go body just needs to glue onto the wheels something like that and uh, got the barrel glued on no problems glued on okay plenty of baking powder and the arms finished up I just wedged in a cotton bud in here just to sort of bind everything together and uh, the, the cotton stick doesn't go the whole way through it just just goes into the bead and no more and uh, so yeah it should go in something like that I can still position those before I glue it up and uh, I kind of want to make him look like he could grip the ground. Uh, I like the idea of him gripping the ground before he fires. So uh, that's the idea behind those anyway. And then I've got one of the hands glued on here. I just wanted to be able to position it against the body first. Just to get the right orientation for the, the hand. And I still have to glue his eye on the front here. Just, um, I don't think I'm going to have to modify this at all. I'll just, I'll just glue it straight on. And then I've still got his other hand to finish. Um, just drilled out bead and glued in some garden wire and then I'm gonna put some smaller beads on for fingers and it means I can position them whatever way I want and these wee hands are great actually you can get some nice wee poses with them you know some nice wee hand gestures so yeah time for another build uh, this one's sent in by Tom uh, Tom actually sent this one to me by email and this is just a cracker wee bat Tom, great job man and again a base, everybody keeps showing me up with their bases and as far as I know this was his first attempt at a scratch build uh, but Tom if you do any more mate feel free to send them in, I'd love to see them alrighty so I've got this guy's arms glued on and then I thought he needed a wee bit more weight at the back so I've uh, just got a kinder egg here and give it a quick sand and glued a cotton bud stick into it and that's just going to stick in there and just sort of evens him out a bit better as far as weight goes and yeah so that's him and then this guy he still needs his arms but I've got everything else assembled glued up alright and then um, arms will go in something like that so I'll just get my baking powder and stick these arms in it and then I want to rough up the, the holes a wee bit just with my craft knife uh, just to make sure the glue bites, just to give it pl plenty of key to bite to and uh, get my glue on and because my arms are already in the baking powder when I stick this in here it should just bite straight away and a wee bit more baking powder just to make sure and then I take my cheap runny glue, this is 151 I call it my cheap runny glue and just put a dab of it on and it sort of flows all around that baking powder and just add some more seasoning to taste and that's one arm good to go I just need to get the other one stuck on and having that arm sitting in the bacon powder already it, it really is a big help when it comes to sticking the arms on alrighty so here's my sketches that I showed you at the start uh, again I did these in the previous build video if you want to check that out but I don't think I did too bad it's close enough a few wee design changes along the way but that's okay that's a, I mean I've never really stuck to sketches when I sketch something out it is just more of an idea I don't have to, to stick to it but uh, they still need their antenna and maybe the tank could do uh, maybe a, a, a bit of detail on the wheel but uh, this guy I don't think I'm gonna give him any detail at all I'm gonna keep it nice and simple and uh, but you yeah, remember this from the start from my, my coffee instant coffee pod um, I think I'm going to stick these on this guy, I think that'll look good, just beef those wheels out a bit I could maybe put them on him but no, I'm going to keep him plain and I've got some of my half sticky beads here uh, just going to stick those on the joints, of the cover up the holes in the beads and uh, can't forget about my antenna and I just did the sprue trick with this, I just heated a sprue up with a lighter and just stretched it out um, 
again I did that in a previous video I'll maybe leave a wee link for it in the description but yep just get that in perfect wee aerial and then for the big guy I've got this is actually a sports cap you know from a, a water bottle or any sports drink and it turns out they've got this wee sort of pointy bit on the inside of them so I'll just sand this down and stick it on the big guy here uh, it makes a pretty beefy beefy looking aerial but uh, that was a nice wee discovery the, the inside of a sports cap I haven't shown the sports cap very well there maybe I'll maybe stick a wee picture up just so you know what I'm talking about and now base I gotta step up my base game everybody's blowing me away with these bases so I've just got some rubber floor tile and cut out a couple of shapes and doubled it up I just doubled it up just to make it a wee bit stronger and then I'm going to cover that in some paper mache clay and it turns out something like this a really cool texture kind of like the texture of the moon but uh, yeah that's that's the plan for a base anyway just ordinary paper mache clay I have plenty of videos on YouTube on making paper mache clay it was actually my girlfriend made it so I, I stole it off her <laughs> and yeah turned the lights down here just because it was a bit of glare off the tin foil and yep, this is a paper mache clay, really cool texture, really easy to work with, and um, not too messy at all. Um, the rough recipe is like a uh, blended newspaper or blended paper and some poly filler and some wood glue. And I think that's about it, but yeah, you'd need to check, check a recipe because I've never made it myself. But yep, I'll just kind of squidge this on all over with my hands and kind of flatten it out and just till I'm happy with it. I mean you can use any sorts of materials for bases and um, it really is up to you but I have this to hand so I'm gonna use it you know and then I'm gonna take my big boy and just squeeze him in and just make some tire tracks I'll initially just squeeze him in exactly where I want him to stand and then I'll kind of roll him back away from those tracks as if he's rolled on it so yeah that's the base sorted um, so as you can see, already primed, ready for their glamour shots. So for now, back to me in the craft room. So, there you have it. Uh, thanks very much for sending in all your builds. Uh, keep them coming, I love showing them off. And uh, a big shout to all my Patreons. Uh, David, Wes, Luke, Matt, Alice and uh, my newest Patreon, Cabo. Uh, thanks very much, I uh, really appreciate the support. And uh, next video, I'm going to be painting these guys. Uh, actually be painting them with a new set of brushes um, Artiscopate have been kind enough to send me a set of brushes to review so I'm gonna review those in the next video and they sent me a 30% off code as well so uh, if you're in the market for a new set of brushes uh, hold off till next week as always I hope this was helpful and any questions or comments you just know where to go there down below work away and remember there are no stupid questions here so thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one Bye.